What is good, Foundation Nation? Welcome back to April's monthly match. But first, word from our sponsors. Hunter versus Trevor. Hunter, dude, I freaking hate your guts. Monthly match. I'll kill you! I'm gonna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. Every month they introduce the members to cool new products such as home and kitchen stuff, barware, clothing, and more, even live oysters. And they do this all based on a preference quiz that they fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of value, but only costs you a fraction of that. And you can preview your box before it ships. You'll have a box of awesome assigned to you, and before it ships out, you can preview it so you can either one, keep it, two, swap it out for a different box, or three, just cancel it with entirely no charge involved. You only pay for what you want. I'm gonna show off two of the boxes that were sent to us. First, we have the chill box here, and this came with this amazing day tripper cooler bag. This thing is super cool, can hold all the drinks you need. We also re received the snug box. This one is pretty awesome here. This one came with a really nice fleece blanket and then this awesome thermos as well. So you can tell that the boxes kind of have their own theme to them. This one clearly meant to keep warm in a cold situation. This day tripper cooler bag is perfect for a disc golfer. Obviously you have all the room you need to store your drinks in there. It'll keep it cool for up to 12 hours. And heck, this thing is big enough, even one. You just slide your disc in there and just use that as your bag. Perfect. Now, if you're headed to the course a little earlier today and it's a bit chilly outside, the snug box is perfect. You got this blanket here, keep you nice and warm. And then this perfect thermos, which will hold your warm coffee in there. Simply pour that in there. Look at that. And now you've got a warm beverage to keep you nice and toasty in the morning during those morning rounds. Thanks again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. If you want to get 20% off your first box of awesome, you can go to bespokepost.com and use code FOUNDATION at checkout, or you can go to bespokepost.com slash foundation. And remember, you can get 20% off your first box of awesome. Make sure to check it out. Thanks again for sponsoring the video. Let's hop into it. You'll be heads, I'll be tails. Your tea, sir. Shout be me then. I'm really threatened out here. We're out here at New London Shorts. <laughs> We're playing the shorties. <laughs> I'm really threatened out here. Now Hunter hasn't been playing the shorts, but he's, he knows his course really well right now. So I'm a little I'm a little scared. But you've been walking with him, man. That's true, I have also been here. Maybe so. this, you're not as scared of the course as he is. He's terrified of it. You're right, I'm not scared. I'm scared. This short little course? <laughs> ah, ooh, that's not a good way to start. Oh, nice OB. <laughs> I'm starting my day off how with the people's How did I not flip bus. at all? I Ooh. But this Trevor should have been throwing. Yep. I'll never know. Do you mind if I... I uh, you decide not to flip. Because you're not throwing the people's buzz. Yeah, dude. That's the thing. People's buzz. Please skip very far left. Okay, at the very least. Went a bit deep because the comma just... I mean, the people's buzz just goes way too far. <laughs> Listen, Trevor, you still have 17 and a half holes left. You're right. It just, like, it feels very... That was great. That was great up. That was a good part. Definitely not mad about only losing one stroke there. That could have been worse. We're okay. Par four, 612 foot, hole two. Oh, I didn't play. Oh, no. Well? That kept on going for a very the, long time. Yeah, I'm going to be playing the trail. I'm trying to throw a turn over a rock here. Stay in the fairway. Should be fine. Good. Yeah, good shot. Trevor, what happened, man? I have no idea. I landed like pretty close to the middle of the fairway. It hit coming in on any like this and slid out, but it was on cut. And also it landed, I mean, the fairways are dry, but I was not expecting that at all. I, I could be ruining myself by even trying to get up and down. No, no, come on, kick out. Trevor. Out of bounds. Yeah, it's out of bounds. Literally a firebird. Just come hold the ante the entire way. Just gotta keep doing what I can do. Yeah. That is a great upshot. We're on full display with the putting right there. Was... Please don't click off the video. There we go. 275 foot par three here. 
Oh, my proxy. It's like 30 of these. Oh, too low. I'm only down four. I just need to like, now I need to like make a birdie on this hole. I can't, I don't have the luxury of playing safe, which means that this could either go really bad or I could get back into it. A little too much higher. It might be. Yeah, a, could be OB long. No. Hope not. Oh. Or just do it. But. Only so much you can do if you're four putting and three putting. 286 foot. Par three. Going back to the forehand here, if you didn't watch the last uh, break 68 challenge, unfortunately it is a forehand. Oh, not if you throw it so early. That's right, it's on that trail, I can get up and down. It's awesome with me. I dissed up because I thought to myself, maybe I can throw a little more stable of a disc up this hill. I can't, I should have just picked the one I usually throw. Good shot. Great up. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Trevor, come on. That's that one. That's not Let's necessary. Go. You're getting your foot going. Stop. Trevor's not in a mood to be encouraged. 519 foot par four. Kind of a crush. Um, got a tailwind here. I'm gonna try to take on the retention pond and try to get up close to that wood line as far as I can. It takes a lot of stress off this hole if you do that, but. We'll see. This tailwind makes me question things. I don't know about that. I held that Annie. Oh. I didn't expect it to. I thought the tailwind would make it come out earlier. Why I try that shot is where you go OB up there. I, I should have a shot at getting up and down for par if it stayed OB. But that turnover, there's a chance it like bounced off the retention wall. We'll see. That's definitely. I would, I would say and let, that could cut roll. Uh, that's probably 30 better. footer probably. I'll have a putt for par, I'll have a putt for par. Yeah, yeah great shot. This is starting to get looky flippy. Dang, good putt. Hole six, 985 foot par five. Going with the people's buzz here. Try to get it in position. Five, wow, that's really great. Well, that was incredible. I'm gonna try this wasp. This shouldn't turn all the way over. Great shot. Just gotta, gotta upgrade to the wasp now with the stable turnover. Really need to throw a good shot here. Getting around the corner from, I didn't throw it very high, so I didn't get a lot of distance. And now I'm gonna try to go hurricane and like, I basically have to just try to throw a shot as far as I can on a hyzer flip and let it fall left. Maybe I'll get around the corner. But that's too aggressive. I mean, I, don't, I might be able to lay up to the front of the island from there. That could be okay. It's a little aggressive. Check away time. It gets skipped, will be. Threw it how I wanted. You had to push that back wall a ton, and playing from the short tees, even if you go too left, just a little pitch out and you still take a par. Hole six mentality doesn't really change in the short tee. Just don't blow up on it. If I get through hole six and I'm still one over, I'm very excited about the round. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do the old Barry Schultz trick. My foot's behind my lie, front foot's in front of the lie. I'm gonna jump up and throw. That's smart. It would have been all too funny if you had somehow messed that up and like put your foot down and like yanked it out of us. It is a lot of thinking involved in that shot. <laughs> short. Fine though. No, it's actually good. Kind of long. I thought it would be short. All right. Great shot. Oh. I'm gonna throw in the proxy on that line. Fine. Yeah, good putt, Trevor. 
Good pipe. Hole seven, 643 foot par five. Eagleable from the short tee. So I'm gonna go with my FD on hyzer. Try to push that back wall, hyzer down to the left a little bit. That's the right idea. I'm curious to see how much that carries. I think I got caught up in those trees over there. It'll make my next shot decision a little interesting. I think I'm gonna play distance driver and try and get it a little more left and I don't know. Yeah, I like it. I think the fairway puts me in between where a lot of times I land like, I don't know, I'm trying to get a little aggressive here. Way. No. We were right no. on the line. No, but fade. Oh. oh. We can't find any OB roping over here. I remember the OB being like in here somewhere, but there's no ropes and the conservation signs we usually use. There's one way back there, and there's not one until like the island, so we can't draw a line because I would literally cut off like part of the actual hole, and that's obviously not out of bounds. So we're gonna call it in. Yeah, right. it seems like a good shot. So I shot the basket in about 290 out. Um, it's an island green, so there's OB on the right. My intention is to throw a forehand ante and throw it with something more stable than I'm comfortable with so that the mistake I make is flex it. Um, I either give myself an eagle putt or if I go OB, I want to make sure I'm OB across on the island so I have a long birdie putt, easy par. Realistically, even if I go OB, Short, I should have an easy up and down for par, but I want to give myself a look for birdie. Oh, I messed up. I'll be, I'll be, oh, dang. I'll be the first to say, that was very ambitious. Oh, that's out by a lot. Maybe not. Push, stay. You good? Oh, it's a miracle. It's not a miracle, Trevor. It was a good throw. I let it go way left of where I... Ah, where you, I tre wanted. you Trevor stopped specialed it. Well, Great shot, Hunter. Thank you, thank you. Dang. Hunter. Hole eight here, it's par four, 380. It's kind of a punch type shot. Like there's not really a lot of gaps. You can go left or right. I just kind of throw it on the hallway as long as I can. If it kicks right, fine. If it fades left, fine. And then you just have to scramble. That sucks. That was not it. All right, how do I got one? Where are you trying to throw that? I'm trying to throw a tight hyzer flip in between these trees. Holy and crap. Right here. No, no. I was trying to go to like where I had a jump putt. Oh, he did it. Didn't quite flip enough, but it's still yeah, great. That should be fine. Oh, that's great. Well, I got kind of lucky. Well, really lucky. I like tried to start that on hyzer, I couldn't do it. These putters always come out flat. Well, that's what I get for running a birdie putt. Gotta keep a foot on the gas. Can't lay up crap. Oh nine, par five. A lot more gettable from the short tee. Trying to throw a pushing hyzer up the right side. Get down. Sit. Okay, that's all right. Going with the slime DD3. Ooh, the slime you say. Oh, that's perfect. There's gotta be, oh yeah, drop it. Oh my goodness, that thing has really beat up to a beauty, huh? Uh-huh. There's gotta be like a, a top Woo! line C line that also sounds like Klein. They spell it K-L-I-N-E. Yeah. I range found it at about 350, so I should be able to get a destroyer on a slight hyzer there. Or a lot of hyzer. Yeah, that's a good shot. Sometimes your body just knows what you need more than your mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that came out and I was like, that is so wide, you idiot. And then it like skipped and got a little roll. I'm like, you know what? Good thing I didn't throw it where I wanted to. <laughs> Well, I missed the last one low, I missed this one high. High misses I'm always okay with. Because I never miss high. High means I committed. High means you're not a coward. Full 10, par 3, 352. You can try to go at it, but the hyzer is usually what I like to do. There's a little headwind. I'm just going to throw this destroyer like as hard as I can up there. Get 
down. Yeah, it's getting down. Sit. Wow. Oh, that poor that destroyer dish. is a little more beating than it was. And by little, I mean a lot, potentially. <laughs> little Calvin D. Little Calvin D, baby. Happened. Yeah, oh, it checked. It's all right. I feel like this whole... It is. Oh. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Ah. It definitely hit the rock. It'll probably be a little flippier, but it wasn't complete demolition. Good too. So we'll just have to see how it flies next time I throw it. Hole 11, par four. From the short tee, a little easier. It's like a chip backhand, or if you want to go flex forehand, it's aggressive. You get into the gap. I'm going to go backhand putter, try to get in line with the gap. Awesome. Okay, it is getting left. Good kick. Yep, great shot. I'm trying to see, because from the short tee, or from the long tee, you can't get left enough. Yeah, I don't know how it lines up I feel like that's still one. true. Well. We are going to see. Yeah, I think you're going to like that I one. I think it's a good spot, yeah. yeah. Great oh, shot, it's Trevor. It's going to be way long. It is pretty long. That's fine. It's got that little branch that was hanging down, did you see that thing? I thought I was about to... There's a little branch hanging down I went right under. If that would have kicked down, I would have crossed. <laughs> oh, that is so sneaky. What a shot. Wow, that was really good. Oh, dang. That's the trouble with it. Hole 12, downhill par 3. This is the same tee as the long, so no short tee here. OB right, some OB left, but not super in play. I'm going wasp, try and flex it to the right, let it come back. Ooh! I think I flex it. That's OB. Well, I've never done that before in my life. People's buzz. Look at big hunt. Get down. Get down. Ooh. That should be fine. Safe. Oh, that is amazing. Three hundred and two foot par three tunnel shot. Very tough shot here. People's buzz. Sneak. Ah. Threw it well, just pulled it a little bit. Oh, my really, really flippy rock. I don't throw that much. I'm just trying to throw it on a ton of hyzer because it seems like the only way I feel like I could hit this gap if I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's a yeah, great that's shot, Trevor. All right. First time I ever hit that gap. Oh, inside. Huh. Uh, hole 14. We're short tee going kind of straight at it through this gap. 300 feet. A lot more doable from this guy. You kind of have to choose like right or left of those trees down there. What do you choose? I think I choose, I think I want to throw it just straight and let it coast down. I did it. Maybe, don't drift too much. No more trees. Oh! Dang, man. That was not really the line I would normally pick there. I'd normally try to flex it to the right, but I just didn't think a disc would come back because of the hillside. Not if I do that. No! Yes. yes. That was great. That was very creative. That is a good hunter. Oh, hip. Hip. oh yeah. That's it. Hey. That counts. Wow. It counts. He's in the bucket, but the wrong bucket. Yeah. Hole 15, 484 foot par four. I'm gonna buzz off the tee. Just trying to land it straight on this hill and then it's an upshot. That's goaded. That's fine. That's a great shot, Trevor. Go buzz. Cool. Go par buzz. Down, birdie. Our oh, cars. I was going for the birdie. Archon, Archon. Bear shark action. That thing ah. clapped out of your hand. You know, that Archon. That Archon really just kind of dude. got stable out of nowhere. That I, think was, I mean, that was a lot of hyzer. No, well, I like, had that proto Archon that was a roller. It's like that looks way longer. Yeah, that was a good 
That's kind of exquisite. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah, That's a on. great putt, Trevor. Come on, Trevor. Lie, that was a pretty good putt. All right, hole 16, par three, 300 feet. It's like a pinched forehand. I guess the tournament's probably there, but it's usually a pinched forehand. I don't, I struggle with this shot a lot, so. Yeah? I do, I struggle throwing this like light flip up forehand. I'm gonna try and like just smooth it with a really fast disc. That worked. Keep in. That was great. Oh! Oh! oh that back roll. Or no, it rolled like behind it more. Great okay. shot, Trevor. Hey! Hey! I think I need to go back to my roots of the forehand, which is just taking discs that are like excessively fast and flippy and just throwing them like a baby. Yeah, man. I like to just act like the tee pad's where I want it to be. Like, I just yeah. Throw like and then I'm gonna just kind of like throw from there. That's a much better way to do it. That one's he's skipping. Get in there. Oh! Good oh. putt. Woo. All right, hole 17, 520 foot par four from here. Kind of throwing down this gap, turn over to the right fairway, fade to the left. I think I'm gonna try to play the left fairway just because <coughs> that left to right shot's tough for me. I'm gonna throw this disc that hit that rock earlier. Hopefully it doesn't roll. Still stable. That's okay, it's down there. Yeah, it's still stable. I think I'm gonna try to pump this into that right gap. Oh, frick my life. Alright. Well, that was pretty great though. Probably as good as I probably could throw that shot on. Huh? Yeah. Verdict time. Hardly's well, been talking about this verdict for so long. Verdict Show me the verdict. Oh, it turns out it's made of plastic. Wait for it. Hey, it the verdict's sick. Working. The verdict's sick. Was it a stable you thought it would be? Uh, yeah. It popped up more than I thought it would. Eagle chance, eagle chance. You know? I mean, you're up by four, so you definitely can do whatever you want. I don't see you taking a nine here. Come on, man, saying. I could. At least I've kept the tee you for a while. You hung around. Yeah, the two. match has basically been the same thing. You beating me by a bunch since hole two or three. I got it within three at one point. I just view this as me versus the course. Oh my gosh. Don't <laughs> this hole's a part five, five, 672 feet. Have Oh, 18, last I was hole. You. Oh, he he fell off the front of the tee pad. Oh, front of the tee pad, people. It's really a great spot it's if you're into getting Lyme's disease. I keep getting these blisters. That disc is stable. Yeah. That was a great <laughs> shot. I mean. <laughs> I don't think it flipped enough. It's, oh, it didn't go too far left. Yeah. yeah. Come on, big Trev. Big, fat, massive Trev. Not fat. That was a misspeak. Wow, now it's going to get stable on me. Wow, is that also... How far away is the basket? Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Trevor put too much pressure on the shot. Dang, dude. Pressurious. Mount. Oh, are you going to misplay me? Oh, frick, I deserve that. Oh, no. Trevor, seriously, man, we're just trying to get out of here. Yeah, you're out. Thank you. <laughs> I got to go. Dang, man. You're gracious for making that. All right, let's throw it over to uh, Trevor presenting me with the belt with a big smile on his face. Um, all right, well, I didn't even have the belt from the last month, so I'm not even sure why we're doing this, but you know, I guess Hunter's just a sicko. So, uh, Hunter, here you go. Here's, here's the belt. Say something Hunter would say. Uh, you know, I just got out there and won. You know me, and uh, you know, just gonna do it, just gonna keep winning. That winner's mentality, that's all I need. Say like, go Duke or something. Go Duke, baby. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Hansborough for the win. Oh, so see you in the next one. <laughs>